as well later on. That was the but idea. For those who uh, yeah. for those who don't so, know, this is uh, we we're talking about Britain here. So Britain is a really hardcore pro uh, kind of .NET Microsoft thing. Yeah, exactly. So, so for those who think it's just not a, an international, I, I know I know it myself based on the. I uh, I I personally uh, haven't properly like applied for a job since since 2003. You should get the jobs without having to. Yes, yes, yeah, exactly. but, but, but the thing is, if you do look for a job in here, if I do look around these things, I just generally it's loads of C plus plus thing. If you look around Europe and you look around the United States, I uh, uh, you usually find that it's it's very much like Java based. It's more like Linux. Uh, the yeah, dog, uh, in here, I just find it's very C sharp oriented. So yeah, but uh, Britain is very very Microsoft proprietary software. I mean, one 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 person recruiter like, approached me, and they they wanted to use bloody Silverlight for some like financial firm or something, and he contacted me, and uh, and uh, bas- basically I never like I did my last exam in 2003, and I also did my last job interview like in 2003, with the exception of those that kind of came to me and asked me to. To speak to me and stuff, and one of them like would speak to me uh, from a financial firm, and and they wanted to use a person who would I think it was Java, and then they would use uh, XAML, which is the kind of language being used by uh, uh, by by Silverlight framework and all these things. And I just think the time on the phone, you realize it's dead, yeah, because because back in the days, and that was like September, uh, that was around the time Microsoft's uh, Silverlight was rumored to be dead. It is pretty much dead now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think they have and, and, and and I couldn't tell him like, look, why would you want to to use these things, especially with like Java? And I'm just thinking, why would they why would they do that? And it, it's just it's so foolish. And this is the type of thing. I'm sorry, it's just that's the only thing, that's the type of thing I see in the UK. Like people think like Microsoft is the best, and everything that's of Microsoft is cheaper and because yes. it's cheaper. It's well, a, it's it's so well, weird. It's so weird. Yeah. If, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll get to something about the, what you're kind of saying. Um, so quickly, what I was saying. Uh, so I was supposed to work for this company, and it didn't. It didn't happen in the end. But at least my bed, my de- my like bedroom got hardwired. So that was just great because that meant I could use Linux online. And then another guy who I'd been to school with, who was also pretty clever, he was like to me, um, "Oh, Ubuntu, you should go and use Ubuntu." And I um, and so I downloaded the Ubuntu uh, five point four live CD, the ISO, and it's like, one CD, wow. Oh, in 20 minutes to install. It's just so, it was just so impressive after my Fedora experience. Yeah. And then I tried to go back to Fedora when Ubuntu 9.4 came out, back to my roots, but um, it didn't it didn't install it. it. It didn't like my partition. They were pretty standard, just Windows and I think a home partition and a data partition, pretty standard. But the installer basically said to me, uh, we, I don't like your petitions, and uh, it's probably a bug of some sort. You should report, and I never did. But anyway, so what? Well, so yeah, uh, what were we saying? So schools are Microsoft. So you basically were trying to move away to uh, Linux, and I believe the original uh, subject that we uh, had in mind was what you thought of GNOME 3 once it was reached and then Unity, because uh, we we want to kind of uh, jump a bit forward in yeah. time. And thinking about the fact that, uh, uh, well, obviously, Magia is mostly KDE oriented. No, 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 Magia, that's not quite true. I, um, Magia is, is, Magia is, um, well, at the Magia one, they've got, yes, it's got the latest KDE, well, no, it's not the latest KDE anymore, it was at the time, no? <laughs> Because it was a June first when they 4. came, 6, came yeah. out with Magia one. Because yeah. I mean the demos yeah. I saw in video were all based on the KDE menu and everything. Yes, they, just a, um, a lot of them are KDE users, but they um, some of them will use other stuff, LXD, SFC, some of the Magia users, and, and they are working on. The, at the moment, the, the developers are actually working on GNOME three point two to get that into the Magia code, and I'm not. Really I believe sure it's in beta that. beta two now, or I don't really know the, know the progress of GNOME three point three point two, but I know the release is uh, for Magia, but I know the release of GNOME three point two itself is coming out very very soon. Uh, very now. yeah, the end of uh, September, I think the twenty. Yes, or yeah, very very soon now, <laughs> and they are they've been working on getting that into Cauldron, and then the idea is that Magia two will have. Known 3.2, or maybe it will have 3.4 because I'm not sure, but I mean, 
March is when GNOME 3.4, the, the next major version, right? After that, is supposed to be coming out. So maybe they'll end up having that in Magia 2 as well. I hope so. Because Magia 2 is coming out, like, the month after, and hopefully they'll get GNOME 3.4 in. But Or Pride is an update or something. I don't really know what's going to happen there. But they are, they, are, they are doing GNOME 3, yeah. They will be. But my dear one is what's is, the uh, what's the support span for? Let's say this. Let's say I download Magia one point. Uh, my dear one, one is, or one point zero. I'm not sure which. But how long would it be supported for in terms? Yeah, of... Yeah, yeah. I guess uh, I was going to say one thing. Magia one is still gnome. Is gnome three point two? Uh, uh, no, not three point two. Two, two point thirty two. The late, the last gnome two release because it was based off Cooker and whatever, right? But anyway, the support for Magia is basically they're going to go 18 months of support. The release cycle is nine months, every nine months, and for uh, it's a new release. And they will do long-term support like Ubuntu as well, sort of every two releases, or I'm not sure quite, but... Oh, and uh, Ubuntu it's not every two releases. I think it's every two years or three. Yeah, years. yeah, I think that they'll do thing. They'll do like Ubuntu yeah. for long time. And I think support. the support is for five years. Then uh, the I, th- I think uh, Mandriva might actually be coming out with a long term support. Think so by something so I read in the release notes. I'm not sure about that, but or oh, maybe maybe 2011 is long term support I'm, for Mandriva. I'm not sure quite. There was something about long term support yeah. to Mandriva as well, but um. That's where you recommend to people. I think my dear two is where things are going to get much more interesting, where a lot of people will probably be coming to the distribution or trying it out and thinking like, oh, this is really good. Don't call 2.0. They have to add the the point oh. Yeah. Very, very very important. The point oh, the people think it's very modern if it's just point oh and after the two. It's funny. uh, My dear two is... uh, No, it's just had this buzz about it. People just think... uh, I remember with uh, there was a time around like 2007 or something that everything is like Web 2.0 and you know 5.0 like and everything and it was a uh, it was a, almost a connotation with some maturity or coolness or something. Uh, actually, Web 2.0 go quite a few years back, and I think it's like the O'Reilly term to kind of try and paint things as modern even though they're old and so, yeah, I was very yeah. interested uh, and there was there, there was a, there was a sh- there was a sci-fi show for a bit that I, I watched but unfortunately they only made one series but then they made something else with a guy from that which was oh, I can't remember what's going on but it was Gate 2.0 oh, no, it goes bits into your 2.0 mm-hmm. subject but yeah yeah well it's, it's uh, I think it's a dying kind of well, buzzword yeah but Gate 2.0 okay. yeah they Day 2.0 was a sci-fi series it was. Only one, only one series though, they, they axed it, but that was about somebody who ended up getting like, um, sort of super strength and stuff. That's quite good. Anyway, yeah. so. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I personally should mention, I, I use Mandriva myself and I'm a KDE user, so I use KDE. Yeah, yeah, I know you use KDE. Uh, I also oh. used Mandrake before and I, I think we'll mention Mandrake a bit. Yeah, before. you don't, you don't really like going personally that much, but. Uh, I have, well, uh, I think we covered it before. I had some confrontations with one of the uh, creators. Yeah, yes, yeah, the, yeah, the and it's because he moved on to promoting Microsoft even more shamelessly with, yeah, the, exactly. uh, with Mono. So, so the Mono thing was one of the turns points, but, but it has not much to do with the rest of the people in GNOME. Maybe so, some of them, but. Um, GNOME, uh, so yeah, GNOME for Unity and that kind of thing. Um, so, so uh, we've covered most of the uh, subject for the second segment. We we'll just probably should move into a, a bit of a track now. Yeah, yeah, and then we can talk more about going through in Unity and so on. Mm. Yeah, I mean this one is from Christina Miles. And the uh, the name of the track is the way it is. You work a nine to five, but it's more like six eleven. Giving you a hard time But you cannot please everyone No So sit back and not relax Put your feet up, take a breather, you deserve it You work hard, so just recharge And have a cup of come on, honey, you are burning It is so frustrating, you're so stars hating you And all the reasons why you can't get where you want to But for now, I say, you're on your way Oh, and it'll happen when it wants to The way it is, you gotta learn to handle it When you fall and when you stumble Just keep 